Have you ever wondered how many soldiers famous clone officers like Captain Rex and Commander Cody were in charge of during the Clone Wars? Well, in this video, you're going to find out. The Grand Army of the Republic started as a vision by Jedi Master sifo Dyas. He sensed the Republic would soon need a large-scale army to defend against a threat that had yet to reveal itself. He wound up contracting the Kaminoans to build such a force, but his murder led to the project being taken over by Darth Sidious, who would end up commanding the force as the Commander-in-Chief. At the genesis of the Grand Army of the Republic, the military was organized into 10 levels. The initial order for the Grand Army of the Republic consisted of 3 million troopers under the command of Chancellor Palpatine, who was the Commander-in-Chief. In Attack of the Clones, there were 200,000 troopers ready for deployment, with a million more well on their way. There would be another 5 million clones ordered during the Clone Wars, according to canon. The Grand Army of the Republic was then divided into 10 systems armies, which included 294,912 troopers and was commanded by a Jedi General on the High Council, like Obi-Wan Kenobi. Underneath the system army was a sector army, also known as a battle army, which was half the size of a systems army. In Attack of the Clones, the Republic sent two full battle armies, which would have been two forces of 147, 456 troopers to Geonosis under the command of Jedi Masters Yoda and Mace Windu. This level was typically led by a highly experienced Jedi General. Within sector armies, you had four corps, with each corps consisting of 36,864 troops. Corps could be led by clone Marshal Commanders. A couple examples here would be Marshal Commanders like Commander Cody, who led the 7th Sky Corps, or Commander Bly, who led the 327th Star Corps. They commanded the corps alongside a Jedi General. Inside a corps was a brigade, which was sometimes referred to as a legion. A brigade was 9,216 troopers strong and was led by a clone senior commander like Commander Kree and a Jedi general like Luminara Unduli. This is where a lot of confusion starts among Star Wars fans, because the 501st Legion is led by Captain Rex, but according to the Star Wars Essential Guide of Warfare book, which is the source material for most of this video and for a lot of fans, clone captains led companies. As you'll see later in the video, there are a number of companies and battalions within the 501st Legion, which lends to my belief that the 501st Legion was a brigade and the name Captain Rex was more of an artistic choice made by the writers of the show. Which makes sense considering Captain Rex was initially going to be named Alpha 17, until George Lucas vetoed the idea, disliking the alliteration of Alpha sharing a team with Anakin, Ahsoka, and R2. So it's likely that these structures of the Galactic Army were flexible to the story which always comes first. Anyway, on to the next level of regiments. Within a brigade were four regiments. One regiment would consist of 2,304 troopers. It was led by a regimental commander like Commander Levet, who was led under the supervision of Jedi General Itain Termukin, according to legends. Oftentimes, the Jedi General had a Padawan below them serving as a Jedi commander, which was what Ahsoka was to the 501st. Four battalions made up a regiment, and each battalion was 576 troopers. The most popular known battalion was the 212th Attack Battalion that was frequently led by Obi-Wan Kenobi and Commander Cody. Battalions were led by a clone battalion commander. This is where the gray area with Captain Rex comes in again, because he leads both the Carnivore and Execute Battalion in the episode Cargo of Doom, which alludes to the idea that he ranks higher than a captain, but it can also be assumed that Ahsoka filled this role of commander. Each battalion was composed of four companies, with each company tallying 144 troops. The 332nd Company was a unit of clone troopers within the 501st Legion's 332nd Division, led by Captain Vaughn. It was placed under the command of Rex and former Jedi Padawan Ahsoka Tano during the Siege of Mandalore. Torrent Company was another famous division within the famed 501st Legion that was deployed during the Battle of Christophsis. As mentioned earlier, companies were led by clone captains, but Rex flexed up and down the chain of command as the riders needed him to. 36 men made up a platoon, which meant four platoons made up one company. Platoon leader was a position within the Grand Army of the Republic during the Clone Wars that was given to a clone trooper who held the rank of clone lieutenant. Waxer served as the platoon leader of a platoon during the Battle of Umbara until his tragic passing. Finally, you had a squad, which was designed to be nine men, though some squads were smaller or slightly bigger. Four squads made up one platoon, and each squad was led by a clone sergeant, an example being Clone Trooper Sinker, who served as a sergeant under Jedi Master Plo Koon and Commander Wolf in the 104th Battalion. But keep in mind, you also have examples of four-men squads like Sergeant Hunter, who led Clone Force 99, Sergeant Boss, who led Delta Squad, and Sergeant Niner, who led Omega Squad. Now, keep in mind, this was how the initial army was structured when the Clone Wars started. 
Not every level had clearly defined characters and roles, and some of the gray areas are filled in by legends. For example, Regimental Commander Levette and Jedi General Etain Termukin are from the Republic Commando series, which are fantastic deep dives into the inner workings of the Grand Army, but unfortunately are now just legends. Like any system, these 10 levels are also likely to lose their structure over time, and titles and divisions became more flexible as the Clone Wars progressed. And as mentioned earlier in the video, just to hammer this point home, this structure was only as strong as the writers who played in the sandbox wanted it to be. When it comes to Star Wars, the story comes before the lore. Thanks for watching. Drop any comments or questions down below, and be sure and hit the like and subscribe button to catch future videos. This is CT3939 signing out. I'll catch you on the next Trooper Transmission.